<laughs> Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the channel if you are new and welcome back to Assassin's Creed, the very first Assassin's Creed, Altair Assassin's Creed Part 4 or maybe not, I think it's actually Part 5, yeah Part 5 of the gameplay we are going after the fourth target in our target list, we just recently got we just recently got the guard break ability and the ledge grab ability and we have to go after and we were given another th the names of another three targets around this area that we have to go after we have to go to three different places i think go after these targets but yeah we are slowly gaining back our abilities as an assassin we are building up altair's abilities his list of abilities attributes and we are gaining back our our faith in the creed we are starting to understand the creed but also we are questioning the creed altair is still a bit unsure of what the right thing to do is if killing these templars is the most moral choice or if they are actually helping the community building up the community and helping people they might need to like to adjust their methods but yeah so we are going off to our next target i think there's a fast travel option here but yeah if you guys enjoyed don't forget to like share and subscribe we will be finishing this game okay so here we are back in damascus um at the bureau i just fast travel to this bureau over here and we will be getting our mission from this guy over here our friend Welcome, hey, welcome. this guy is. To collect today? This guy loves me, dude. Abunaku. You should teach what Malik some freaking manners. Oh, the merchant king of Damas, richest man in the city. Oh, Damas, this, this guy is cool. He, he freaking calls the place Damas. Well, he doesn't even the add the curse at the end. Rank, but I envy everything else. Oh, except for the terrible things the other assassins say about you. But oh yes, my gosh, every time I come here, this guy, things, this guy tells me about that. I do not care what the others think or say. I'm here to Let do a job. They said the same thing so the last time again. I was here. What can you tell me about the Merchant King? Only that he must be a very bad man if Al Mualim has sent you to see him. He keeps to his own kind, wrapped in the finery of this city's noble district. A busy man, always up to something. I'm sure if you spend some time amongst his type, you'll learn Is the this Leonardo? Sounds like Where Leonardo. Have me begin my search? Oh, the second game. If I were you, I'd start with the Omayyad Mosque and Souk Saruja, both of which are west of here. Further to the northwest is Salahadin Citadel. It's a popular meeting spot and has proved a reliable source of loose tongues in the past. Yes, these three places should serve your needs. My thanks for your guidance, Rafiq. I'll return when I've gathered the necessary Wait, what? information. Wait, hold up, hold up. This guy's name is Rafiq? Is Rafiq a title or a name? Because he called this guy Rafiq and he called the other guy Rafiq, didn't he? Because he calls Malik Malik, unless that's just a sign of disrespe disrespect towards Malik, I guess. Rafiq must be like a title. You dare steal in my presence? That will cost you my life, your life. Viewpoint complete. Two of nine viewpoint scaled within the poor district. Whoa, the poor district. So judgmental. This game is so judgmental toward the people of Damascus. Calling them poor just like that. He's going to hurt on your eye. And when he does, I won't help him. Wow, dude. Disrespectful. He's going to fall and... Wait, what? He's going to hurt himself and if he does... That guy's not helping me apparently. He said, screw that guy. Okay, looks like we have to sink like a lot of points to f actually find the stuff to do this time around. Okay, so finally I found a mission where we can actually progress. I found a sink point that actually showed me something. Um, there's no bench here, is this? It was good of you to come. Oh, okay. It is an honor to serve. What do you require? The letter I've given you must be brought to Salahadin's camp. Seek out the one they call Hisham. He will be able to help. 
but tell no one else of this. None will know my mission. Maybe whisper or something. Okay, so this is another pickpocket. Oh, sir. So. Don't mind me. Idiot. I freaking got your loot. Acquired later stating the Merchant What's King is holding a festival within his palace. Interesting, interesting. Looks like we'll be infiltrating. Okay, crashing a palace party. He spent his okay, here we go. And that's another beat up mission. His men tend to the fires that we might be warm. His kindly one should strive to be as he. What? Just cats of imagine you just have this guy like coming up to say like a few words and then he just leaves again. Leave this place. You are not supposed to be here, me. Who's saying that? You shouldn't be. Oh here. my gosh, no. Alta here like really? Okay, here we go. I can beat him up here actually. If I can get down quick enough. Stop hitting me, dude. I'll talk, I'll talk. I've no interest in dying. Better do. You better get your head fixed, sir. Like, you need to go to the barber straight away after this. I have business with the merchant king. Ha! Good luck with that. He rarely leaves his chambers. Why? Is he afraid? I can it late. I can Not fear. Hate. He hates himself as much as he hates the people he pretends to serve. Locks himself away in his personal quarters. Is he under the shame? He can't stay hidden forever. I mean, no. that's the why. That's why I. More celebrations of his. He comes out to speak, to look down upon the people. A sense of belonging, I suppose. However brief. He comes out to look What's wrong with him that he would hide like this? Like a freaking dictator. You'll see. Now let me go. Let you go? So you can tell him of my plan? No chance, buddy. I no chance, say buddy. It doesn't matter. No. I have a hidden blade, you don't. And you have. Exactly, dude. No, you won't. I'll tell you. You saw information? Doesn't even matter, dude. You can say anything you want. I don't care. You were dead the moment you. you my first met your cheeks. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Like, when are they gonna make the. They need to make, like, a sequel where just all the merchants' families. One well, of the merchants, but these preacher guys. Just all their families come off the altar here. We just go back in time. Where altar here was actually. He had to fend, his li fend for his life from all the merchant families. All the. Preacher family. Altair, my friend, my brother. Time challenge. It's been such a long time. Any news of Alda um, since she I don't know you. No? How sad. I'm sure you'll find her someday. I have heard a feather is lying on top of Abul Nukud's head. Okay. And Maybe how does that I could help you. Interest me. But I have a mission myself. I have four targets I must eliminate before noon. Let's cooperate, just like old times. Two for you, I, two for me. I don't know you, dude. They are Abu Nukud's personal guards. You will spot them in minutes. Okay. Oh, wow. How do you kill these guys? Oh my, how do I do this without... I probably have to kill all of these guys, right? Oh, oh I got him. I thought I didn't get that guy. Oh, I have to actually kill them silently. Okay, so it looks like I have to kill them without alerting the guys that are walking with them. Oh, but yeah, he's alone. I think the best way to do this is to use the knife. Apparently not. There's actually no way of doing that without 
You have to wait for him to just be secluded, I guess, in a secluded area. Okay, so we have to be stealthy about this. Maybe if I... The thing is, there's guards everywhere. And he stands in front of them as well. Like, when do you kill them without alerting them? I guess now would be good. No, there's a guy there. Okay, I got one. I got one. I got one. I got one. I just need to get out of here and find the other one. Okay, now I need to figure out how to take the other one out stealth stealthily. They have security that's watching them. Ma'am, I do not have time for this nonsense right now. No, I fully understand, and I am a poor man as well, so leave me alone. I work for an assassin's brotherhood, ma'am. They don't pay me for that. They don't pay me until the second game. Leave me alone. This idiot! Oh my gosh, I hate this guy. There we go. There we freaking go. Oh, I have to get back to him in time. I have to get back to him in time. Move. I made it, dude. I made it, dude. One second to spare. You remember? I don't I remember one any of that, dude. I don't remember. We must have been like drunk or something. I don't know what we were doing that day. I'm sure it will come in handy in your mission. Anytime you're in Damascus, come see me. You know my door is Why always open to you. Why does everybody call Damascus? Safety and peace, my friend. Now we can go back. We finally acquired the map detailing the what was that detailing the layout? The investigation is complete. Okay. We finally go back to the bureau and find out. Like, proceed with our assassination. Where did all those people just come from? They just popped in. Peace be upon you, Altair. How may I serve you? I've done as asked and learned all I need to know about my prey. Yep. Then you must share your knowledge with me. Abu Naqud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's I was at Book Dusty. I was literally here like a few weeks ago. Himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my won't friend. Won't even know. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I'm sure you'd come through. Others are clearly misinformed. They don't know the the, 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 the idea of my skill level. Strike the merchant king when he comes out during his feast to speak with his people. Okay. So you have to wait for him to come out. And then just strike, you know. Strike like, you know, like an assassin. Even moments like of this game, the parkour, even certain parkour moments can feel smooth and satisfying in this game, as old as it is. Like this, example of unsatisfying parkour. Look how old the gym is walking across here. You have to get inside this, this monument, this location, and they just happen to show up and gather and have a little group meeting over there. Mm. 
There we go. Oh, this lady is giving them a dental here. Look at this. What kind of party is this? Is that a bachelor party? Somebody getting married? Oh my gosh! It looks like an anime character. Welcome, welcome. Thank you all for joining me this evening. Please eat, drink, enjoy all the pleasures I have to offer. Okay. Take your time. I will wait. Oh, he poisoned the wine. He poisoned the wine. That guy's not drinking. TV dies. Oh, but he's having a fine time. Seems to be enjoying himself. Good, good. It pleases me to see you all so happy. For these are dark days, my friends. And we must enjoy this. So you need some, like, face cream or something. War threatens to consume some moisturizer. Desperate need of that. And you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows this campaign to continue. So I propose a toast then. These people all are hyped up. They love wine. Where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. Yeah. We love you, man. Such kindness. I didn't think it in you. You who have been so quick to judge me and so What are these people going on about right now? Oh, do not feign ignorance. You take me for a fool. But I have not heard the words you whisper behind my hat. Well, I have. And I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight. No. I wish to speak more of this war and your part in it. You give up your coin. Am I supposed to be looking for a way in? Well, like a way to attack him? Thousands. We don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you say. <laughs> Who are these guys like? The evil looking at? Nation of our okay. I don't know what's going on. Where's the wine? Tell yourselves. <laughs> no. All this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different. <laughs> Just as it bothers you that I am different. Oh, he drank the wine. Mercy, tolerance. These words mean nothing to anyone. But that dude, nobody's listening to the speech. Everybody's like wasted from the wine supply. Like, nobody cares what you're talking about. I pledged myself to another cause, one that will bring about a new world. In which all people might live side by side. In oh no. So you need to leave that man alone. What? A pity none of that is Lava? Who is that guy? Why did he touch that guy like that? <laughs> what? And that's why you don't take your drinks from strangers. Oh my gosh. Uh, only those guys died. Everybody else is just going mad. Fine, I can get up like this, I think. Please tell me this is an actual way. Because once he figures out that we are coming off them. He'll probably sh attack us or run away or something. He started running already. Oh wow, I went the wrong way. Oh, but he's slow, I forgot. For obvious reasons. Come back. Look how he's actually quite far. Here we go. Be at peace now. Their words can no longer do harm. Why have you done this? You stole money from those Dude, who you literally to just poisoned it away like for some unknown purpose. Like guys in a I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. I and forgot he was actually. I didn't mean to insult you, sir. I forgot you were actually. Muffle their shouts of hate. Like 
So this is self conscious about, about your face and your looks. No, not vengeance, but my conscience. It's my bad. Dude. How could I finance a war in service to the dude, same god too. that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah ad Din's cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why yeah, I think I killed three of them already. Deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You no, take kind the of is. of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No. Yeah, how about we all we just stop killing like... each other? How about ah, that? That would actually be better. In your eyes. The way you guys you go about it. Doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world. I guess technically they do actually get their wall. Take new walls. I will end your life, not favor. Yes, you will lose it. Okay, these guys, I can make life work of these guys. Like, no challenge. Okay, you want to try that again? Try that again. Try that again. I'll count it easily. This guy is taunting me. Slice your arm, Buddha. There we go. And now we make our epic escape. Finally made it back to the beard though. Now we can talk to Rafiq, if that's Where even your real name. Success, Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. Abu Nakud. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the merchant king was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with Al Mualaf then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes, we'll see what he has to say. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. You dare steal in my presence? Turn to Al Mualim. Come, Altair. Speak with me a moment. Oh, wow. Well, he's in the library this time. As you ah, I see. Word has you reached me of your books. success. You have my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? Each man I mean, obviously your enemies would disagree. To me. They are without regret. Even in death they seem confident of their success. Yeah, it's called Though they ignorance, do not admit it directly, I think. There is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to make the distinction. It is simpler that way. But as an assassin, it is your nature to notice. If you to question, spend long enough believing what is something, it that connects these men? Is ah, right. as an assassin, that's what you are going to do. It is also your basically. duty to steal these thoughts and trust No matter what master, anybody else tells you. For there can be no true peace without order, and order requires authority. You speak in circles, master. You commend me for being aware, then ask me not to be. It's like indoctrination, basically. The question will be answered when you no longer need to ask it. I assume you called me here for more than just a lecture. <laughs> Very well. A rank and weapon are again restored to you. Nice. What weapons are left to be restored remain. to? Go and remember. see to it that their rule is ended. I think I get a better sword, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's just a stronger sword. That allows you to do more damage. Oh no, boots. Or is this to avoid falling, fall damage? 
sword oh no I did get more damage on my sword and I got the regain balance and dodge I don't know what that is new ability gained okay practice in the courtyard apparently regain balance and dodge I'm not sure what that does but yeah so we basically wrapped up this episode we finished another target we killed that guy he was I mean I feel kind of and do I feel bad? No, I don't, because he poisoned people, he killed people with poison. But that's like, he was like depressed or something. He was hiding in his castle, his mansion, his fortress, his palace. Hiding from people because he was ashamed of, of the way he looked. He didn't like his looks, he wasn't comfortable with the way he looked. And we just killed him. And he never got to like, you know, he never got to try like any moisturizing cream, any like exercise routines, diet plans. He, he just died young, you know. He died before you could try any of those out, try and like better his, his, out, his outside look. But yeah, I mean, he died, you know, because he was a, like a crazy man. He was, he was a madman. He had to die. But yeah. So now we have, I believe that's our fourth target. So we have two more that have been given to us already. And then there should be another three, I think. Because they said nine at the beginning. But for some reason they keep mentioning that there's more work to be done. As if he didn't tell me there was nine right at the beginning of this whole journey. This whole like mission task, task list. But yeah, so we'll get back to in the next episode. I think it was back to Jerusalem and then Kingdom was the other place. So where the other two targets are and then we'll figure out what's going on there we got our booties that allow us to do some dodge techniques and some and we got like a sword improvement i think the sword like the actual 3d model of the sword changes as you get upgrades but yeah um and we deal more damage with it now so yeah we'll be carrying on there and yeah so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.